Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. And if you are here locally, maybe going to a different town in our region, you do have to be mindful of the roads tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think the absolute worst is in the afternoon. Okay. So early morning, fine. It'll be snowing, but kind of wet roads early. Things just go off the rails in the afternoon, I think. So be ready for that. You'll see the travel impact listing here. Not too bad, 8, 9 o'clock. I mean, it's going to be a little bit nerve wracking because you'll see the snow and maybe think, it's really ramping up. I think it takes several hours to really get bad. So afternoon and evening will be the worst travel and then much better by Friday. Friday, we've just got snow showers and any leftover cleanup. So it's quiet this evening and it will stay that way clear through past midnight. The rain is into about western Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh area as of 620 right now. It's still 40 in Plattsburgh. I don't think there is snow accumulation in Plattsburgh tomorrow. This is why too warm 38 Burlington, but 30 Springfield 35 Montpelier. So all told it is what we call a marginal situation. The trees all ready for uh, Friday when we light it and they fix those lights that had popped off in the rain the other day. So that's exciting, at least for me, 38 at the airport. So uh, here's how it goes on a future cast. This is eight o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're trying to drive south at that point or really anywhere, I think it's fine. Wet roads, snow coming down, not a big impact early. But the intensity comes up. And when you're talking about a marginal situation, temps like 34, 35, you need the intensity to bring the temperature down to 32 and for it to really stick everywhere. That is going to happen even on the interstate tomorrow afternoon. And then it's a lighter snow to wrap things up by evening. Friday, the sun pokes out nice. Some snow showers around because they're coming off Lake Ontario lake effect snow. So random. So temperatures, they want to be like this at 3 p.m. tomorrow, 37 Burlington, 34 Lebanon. So when you just look at that, you think, oh, maybe it's fine. This is a bad situation because it means the consistency of the snow will be wetter and heavier. There will be some power outages by later tomorrow where the accumulation is above about six inches. This is the broad overview. Nothing at Rouse's Point, not much in downtown Bennington, not much in downtown Brattleboro. It's all about the in between area where we manage the accumulation. Eight to 12 inches in the vicinity of Scroon Lake in New York. Malone maybe gets two or something like that. Lion Mountain could get close to four or five. Maybe Burlington gets slushy, maybe a slushy couple inches, a little bit more down Route 7. But clearly, this is the Green Mountain spine. Once you get past that into central Vermont, it's more like four to eight inches in downtown Barrie, Montpelier. Might have a, a band of eight plus here as you get out towards Danville and then less in downtown St. J. Look at how the eight inch area overtakes 89 right there near exit uh, five and six. That will be a very bad area later tomorrow, just like it was with the ice the other morning. Southern Vermont, not much in Brattleboro, but Route 9 is rough going over towards Bennington. The peak in all of this is probably Killington Summit, the fire tower with 15 inches, more like eight or nine on the main road through the area. So. If you're wondering about specific downtowns, we've got Matt DiLoretto at the airport. You still there, Matt? Or are you trying to get on? Okay, you're still there. Worried maybe you're going to Florida. Uh, how's it looking? Well, I would have liked to. I would have liked to hop on that plane with that hockey team going down to Florida, but the airport certainly has calmed down. There's only a couple more flights going out. Seems like everybody's gotten out early, which is a good, good thing because quite a snowstorm coming tomorrow. I mean, in the Champlain Valley itself, we're not really expecting much because most of the time it will be rain. But you see, in the snow add up graph in Burlington, right at the tail end, could be a slushy inch or two. Uh, especially if the precipitation rates get a little bit higher. For Brattleboro, sort of the opposite end of the spectrum, the heaviest snow is in between Burlington and Brattleboro. So if you're in downtown Brattleboro, especially right near the river, it's only a couple of slushy inches in downtown, a lot of rain mixing in with that. 
Rutland, bit of a tricky situation, expecting only two or three inches in downtown, but as soon as you head up Route 4 toward Menden, it gets a lot whiter, a lot pastier, and if there's enough heavy precipitation in Rutland, that snow total could add up even more than what's shown right here. So we'll be watching that as we head into tomorrow. Saranac Lake, not too big of a storm, about four or five inches, and the heaviest falling in the afternoon as some slightly colder air gets involved to the system. How about Ludlow? Looking at a good pasting of eight or nine inches right into town as you head up toward Okemo, it's more like a foot. And then for Montpelier, central Vermont, the capital city, a very greasy and sloppy four, five, maybe six inches of snow. So travel will certainly be quite terrible uh, later in the afternoon. I think, Tyler, the main message we've been trying to send is that the two main factors are precipitation intensity and, of course, uh, just how hard it's, it's coming down right at that time, right? Yeah, absolutely, especially in that afternoon time frame. By the way, that's why we went to the red color, an alert day for Thanksgiving. Be very careful. Friday and beyond, it turns dramatically colder. Continued snow showers, that's because lake effects snow out to our west occasionally sneak some moisture in here. It'll add up in the mountains, but not really in the towns. Look how cold it gets next week. A big hello from winter for the first week of December. Jack, Liz. All right, thanks, Tyler. As we had to break, you're taking a live look from our camera in downtown Burlington at the tree on Church Street. The 30 foot blue spruce will be strung with lights and lit this Friday at the annual tree lighting ceremony. Our team will have complete coverage of the event starting at 4 p.m. We will be right back.